Hi everyone, so welcome. So for this section, I am going to focus on uh, paper two, section two, and uh, it is basically on your reading for meaning, but for this part or for this video, what I will be focusing on, it is going to be on the writer's craft alone. So when we look into writer's craft, what can you explain or what do you need to know when it comes to this type of question? So that is what I am going to explain today. And at the same time, I am going to use uh, one of the past year question paper as well as teach you or guide you on um, what are the uh, skills that you need in order for you to answer the questions, right? So without any further ado, let's look into the uh, slides as well as the past year paper, right? So now, when we look into uh, writer's craft, it is basically um, a section where there will only be um, two questions, okay? So when you read the uh, phrases given in the question, you are expected to explain the meaning of the phrases as well as show or, um, or, or uh, briefly explain or state the effect that has been created through the uh, through the phrases given in the question. So now let's look at this part here. Candidates should concentrate on the purpose of reading, whereby you must understand and appreciate a writer's use of language. So when you look into uh, your insert, basically you will know that the author has written uh, something based on his or her experience or something which is relatable uh, to, to the current issues or the current state. So what you're supposed to do is that when you read uh, a passage or the uh, passages given in the insert, you are required to either underline or highlight the key ideas of the content point as well as you need to have the uh, uh, the understanding or proper understanding of the passage. Okay, you have to analyze and you have to try to understand both the explicit and implicit meaning of the text given, right? So now, the reader is expected to identify and comment on how the writer has presented information in the text, how the writer has used language to make points or for effect. So you need to explain the meaning of the uh, sentence or phrases given as well as uh, state the effect that um, the writer is trying to make or trying to uh, provide to the readers. Okay, so now um, I am going to share this uh, past year paper here where the questions are basically on uh, or basically focusing on uh, your past year paper. Okay, May, June 2019. Okay, um, this is the uh, question paper that I am uh, going to use. Yeah, so. Um, The passage is on uh, Jennifer, or uh, what we call these, a uh, passage uh, focusing on uh, passage to Jennifer. And um, this is the same passage that you have used for your section two reading for meaning. So you would have answered all the questions based on this particular passage. And right after answering the questions, you will somehow have uh, an in-depth idea of what the passage is all about as well as what is the requirement of the question because um, it would somehow teach you or somehow show the effect that the writer is trying to uh, to provide when it comes to the question, yeah? So now, when you're looking at this part here, which is the question paper, this is what I was uh, explaining earlier, okay? The, all the questions that you have answered, followed by your last part of the question, which is basically on your um, writer's craft, yeah? So you're supposed to uh, reread the paragraph, okay? So the paragraphs will be stated. There will be only be two paragraphs given. It's either paragraph one or two or one or three, four and six and so on. So for this part of question here, you are supposed to reread paragraph four and six, which contains sentences telling us about the hotels near the airport and the meeting at the airport. So you show the meaning as well as the effect based on the question given. You explain everything using your own words before you uh, conclude your answers. Okay, so that's um, all for the part and uh, I'll see all of you in the following section.